What's up, guys? Welcome to Players Club. My name is Jason here in Burbank, California. For my guys out there, welcome back. If you are a uh, new visitor to us, this is the Players Club, and uh, what we do is showcase one new player each week. We break down a song, we break down theory, we break down style, and we do a jam, and it's really fun. And there's a lot of other cool videos on this channel as well, so go ahead and click the subscribe so that you know when the videos come out, and um, you get to watch me show you how to play guitar. It's all cool. This week, we are going to be focusing on Mr. B.B. King. That was a request from Uncle Jay out there, and... Uh, here we are, man. <laughs> what a good vibe, and this has been a real nice theme. We've been hitting that Clapton, we've been hitting that Stevie Ray Vaughan, and now we're going to go back to the roots, Mr. B.B. King. So tonight we're going to be looking at how to play The Thrill Is Gone. I mean, right? That's the B.B. King song you need to know how to play. It's a minor blues using something called Harmonic Minor Scale, which is uh, pretty cool. We're going to talk about that on Theory Thursday, so make, you, make sure you tune in for that. Uh, and what you got here is a song in the key of B minor. So it's a blues. We're using one, four, five. Here you go. You're going to go a B minor seven. Okay, B minor seven. So that's basically taking your index finger and barring across the top string through the high E string on the seventh fret. Then you take your ring finger and you're going to place it on the ninth fret of the A. That's your fifth. That's it. So if you strum all six strings, you more or less get that. Now, how do you get that bar to work? If you're struggling out there with that bar, I'm going to tell you it's all about this area of your thumb, right here, right, right at the, uh, the first knuckle joint. So when you're underneath your guitar neck, you want to use this por portion of your thumb to push up into the neck. Okay, so when you're down this far on the, on the guitar neck, it's a little bit different than doing bar chords up here. So you use that rounded part of your thumb to push into the neck and that should give you enough leverage to balance out the sound. Now if that's too challenging, guess what? Just do an easier version, it's all good. You could just take your index finger and you could bar across the seventh fret of the G, the B, and the E and just hit that and that's a B minor as well. Or you could just play a B minor. You go to the, go to the second fret of the, I'm sorry, the fourth fret of the D, the fourth fret of the G, and the third fret of the B, play those three notes and there's your B minor as well. So whatever floats your boat is gonna be uh, the way to go here. But it's a B minor or a B minor seven. Now it's a seven because we're not playing the octave in the bar chord shape, we're incorporating the A note. Now if we think about the musical alphabet, um, A becomes before B. So if B, we're in the key of B, B is our one. Well, it's also our eight, that's where the word octave comes into play and one below eight is seven, and that means one below B is A. So that's for another theory lesson at another time, but B minor seven is your first chord. Then your second chord is going to be E minor seven, or E minor, okay? So you can take your index finger, you're gonna play a bar from the seventh fret of the A string through the high E string, like that. Take your ring finger and you're gonna place it on the ninth fret of the D string, Take your middle finger and place it on the 8th fret of the B string. Strum from the A string down, and there's your E minor 7. Now, you could also play E minor 7 like that, or just E minor. Again, whatever, whatever you like to do. So you have B minor, E minor 7 as your 4 chord. Now we're going to slide our index finger up to the 10th fret of the A string, and we're gonna to start to build what we call a G major seven. So it's gonna be 10th fret A string, 12th fret of the D string with your ring finger, 11th fret of the G with your middle finger, and then 12 of the B string with your pinky finger. Now again, that's called G major seven. The major seven chord has an, it has a nice, uh, soft sound to it. <laughs> it's cool, this is a be real beautiful chord. Uh, and it uh, fits in the minor scale because it's the sixth degree of the minor scale. And if we map out our minor scale, the sixth degree of the minor scale should be played as a major chord. We're adding a seventh note in there uh, because uh, we started on a minor seventh. So we're kind of going with that theme of sevenths. Again, theory for another day. But uh, if you just know that that's called a G major seven, 
you're good to go. <clears throat> now, the next chord, this is where it gets interesting. It's an F sharp seven. So you're gonna play it ring finger, I mean index, index finger on the ninth fret of the A string, ring finger on the 11th fret of the D, you're barring the ninth fret of the G with your index finger, and then your pinky finger's coming down, and that is playing the 11th fret of the B string. And you could also, with your bar, get that in there, but probably just best just to stay A through the e, uh, B string. F sharp seven. Okay, now Theory Thursday, we're gonna be talking about this concept of harmonic minor scale. Uh, and that means that the seventh tone of the scale is in a natural position rather than flat. I'll explain that on another day. But uh, all what you wanna know right now is that this is an F sharp seven, and we would call it a five dominant. Okay, so it's a five dominant chord. And it sounds really cool going back into the one. Listen to the difference. So I played it as a minor chord. That's cool, but so much better, right? And it's just good songwriting, and that's that's why this song is like really epic. Not only is it the story, and not only is it the way that BB plays guitar and sings, uh, but it's the construction of the chords, and obviously the groove, right? Now this song doesn't have a whole lot of rhythm guitar in it. We're essentially making it up because it's just BB kind of just riffing over. Uh, and then you got a full orchestra underneath of them. You got, you know, drums, bass, keys, you got strings. It's a whole deal. So that gives you um, a nice uh, opportunity to just create a part. That's the really awesome thing about playing this song. As long as you use those chords, you're gonna be good. Now, I think it's always important to focus on the two and the four beat when you're starting to build out a rhythm pattern or if you're starting to develop a, um, a concept for a song. So we're gonna focus on one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, on that B minor, okay? Now notice I'm giving it like a kind of staccato sound. You experiment with whatever you like and once we get into the jam, you know, you'll be able to do that. But play the chord or voice the chord and let's focus on the two and the four beat like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, jam with me. One, two, three, now let's go to the E minor seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Back to the B minor. One, two, three, four. One, two. And now the major seven to the F sharp seven. Staying on the two and the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that takes us back to the beginning. So that is how we're gonna do it at this level. So take a second and you can pause the video or take a break, whatever, to figure out those uh, chord transitions uh, for us to now move forward in the learning of the song. So get those chord transitions down and try and keep your fingers as close to the fretboard as possible. Focus on strumming on the two and the four. And when you're ready, we're gonna go along with the jam track. So let's assume you're ready. <laughs> Here we go. Grab your B. Okay, now we're gonna go to the uh, the next chord, the E minor seven. Back to the B minor. And now the G major seven to the E seven, or F sharp seven, sorry. Yeah, E seven. Stay there. See so it's B minor. Just grooving. And now your E minor seven. Back to your B minor. Okay, and now your G major seven to your F sharp seven. Okay, cool, right? So now you can add a little bit of variety with that and just hit the root notes on the one and the three, like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So all I'm doing is hitting the E or the A string. 
right. Now I'm doing a little light palm mute here to kind of chunk it up a little bit. So that way when I hit the bulk of the chord, I can snap it and do a staccato feel like that. And it really pops out so I can go boom, boom. Almost like you'd be marching. But you let that bass note hold out for the full quarter note value. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two. And then the next thing to do would be to add a little variety on the three beat. So one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. So now I'm doing three and. Okay, and now you can do different variations, like whatever you like, because remember, there's no rhythm guitar part. You can make it up. So I'm just giving you a basic foundation of what to do. So now let's try one, two, three, and four along with our track. Three and four. One, two, switch to your E chord. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and one. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so from there, you can you can kind of throw some rhythms in to your liking, um, or just like really start to loosen it up, and then also explore with like where you're strumming the strings. Like, do you want to hit the full chord every time, or do you like just the top two notes, or do you like the middle part only? Like whatever you like, you know. Explore, play guitar. Don't just practice guitar. Uh, but then you can get even looser with it, right? And just kind of get your hand moving. So in Stevie Ray Vaughan, we, we talk about the circle strum. What if you explored something like that? Like... Now, full disclosure, I don't have a pattern made up there. I'm just grooving. That's what you should do, right? So uh, just try it hit, hit in different spots on there. As long as the two and the four accent is there and you start to bring those quarter notes in for the one and the three, or one, three, and, it's gonna work great. So now let's fully explore. Okay, we'll do the, the pattern several times here with uh, your variations on the, on the uh, rhythm, as long as the accents are on the two and four. I'll try to give you some ideas along the way. Let's get it. B minor. Now, your E minor seven. Back to your B. Maybe a little arpeggio. And if you can, try throwing in some licks. So you can see there's a whole variety of ways that you can play this song. So whatever way and whatever skill level is good for you, that's great. Uh, and if you're rhythmically involved, all the more fun. But if you need to just keep it basic and do the 2-4, hey, 
no problem. It's all good. We're just playing guitar. And uh, what's most important is that you stay in the groove and you enjoy the song. It's a beautiful song with a fantastic groove. That's what we want to be focusing on, just, you know, like really feeling that pocket and getting in there. And that's where the real magic happens. So this week, I'm going to challenge you to play your version of the song along with B.B. King's actual song. Now, I can't play it here because they're going to flag us, but uh, you can play it and you can record yourself playing over top of it and you can send it to me. And if you want some critiques on your performance, I'll give them to you. So just uh, go ahead and email them to me once you have that. If you are not a Players Club member, simply check the link in the description box here and you will see our address. So you can just go ahead and uh, click there, fill out your email, we'll put you on our flyer. And if you want a critique of your version of this song uh, to get your, your biomechanics and just get some feedback, uh, I'm happy to do it. So just go ahead and, uh, and fill that out. Now, we're going to be doing Technique Tuesday tomorrow night, it's the BB King vibrato thing. Hello. I mean, we got to know that. And then uh, we'll be taking a look at the BB box. We'll be doing a jam session on Wednesday. And then we're going to be discussing the harmonic minor scale uh, on Theory Thursday, which is what this uh, song's all about. Understand what that that is. Um, so it'll be fun. Until then, you guys go ahead and start playing. Send me your tracks. I want to see it. Have fun. Groove, groove, groove. And just play guitar. See you guys later.